following is a presentation of KSL Sports. Hello, Cougar Nation. Hand off middle. First down. Touchdown! And listen to the Cougar Nation. Every Monday night, we break down the Cougars' last game and look ahead to next week. Cougar Nation, brought to you by Central Bank. Here's BYU insider Mitch Harper and Matt Biamonte on Utah's legacy home of the Cougars, KSL News Radio. Good evening, Cougar Nation Season 2. Cougar Nation, we're taking your phone calls over the next hour talking BYU football as game week is here. 801 575 Eight two five five. Load up the phone lines. Mitch Harper, Matt Biamonte, with you. We're getting ready for BYU and Southern Illinois this Saturday, six o'clock kick here on KSL. Extended pregame it begins at noon with Cougar Sports Saturday. We will have you covered this weekend as the Cougars get ready to kick off the twenty twenty four season and a new season. There's hope that it'll be better days ahead than what took place last year as the Cougars finished 5-7 and seven in their debut as a Big 12 team. Glad to be back on board with you, Mitch, and glad to be back on you, most importantly, Cougar Nation, for Season 2, which starts today. And look, I think it's uh, it's recommended you put this number in your contacts, <laughs> 801-575-8255. That's how you can call in all season long, sharing your thoughts each and every Monday night at this exact time as we take you through this football season. But first, Mitch, let's break down this opening matchup coming this Saturday against the Salukis of Southern Illinois. How big of a challenge do you think this game will be for the Cougars? It's going to be a challenge because Southern Illinois is a solid football team and they're number 11 in the FCS ranks, but still it's an FCS team. BYU is undefeated all time against FCS programs. BYU should have no issue uh, with Southern Illinois, they should win comfortably. But uh, if they don't, if they perform the way that they did in stretches last year, think about the Sam Houston game a season ago, the opener. Uh, things could be a little dicey. But you know, one thing that BYU needs to sort out in this game is the quarterback situation. And head coach Kalani Sataki said he's not ready to name a starter. Yeah, I think you guys have the depth chart, so we kind of have an idea. We know our our plan. Um, we know what we're going to be doing. Just not ready to tell everybody our game plan yet we do have the depth chart but there's 20 oars on the depth chart so it's a little difficult to to parse out who's the starter who is the backup who's the third string and that's fine in today's day and age Mitch uh, you know there's a lot of rotations there's a lot of personnel packages and substitutions but I don't love this move by BYU to not name a starting quarterback I get the argument that they've made today the coaching staff that there's a competitive advantage to be had by not naming them. You'll have to prep for both. But ultimately, whoever trots out in that first series, they're going to quickly adjust the game plan to that person, and then you have to go and play football. Personally speaking, I think there's more to be gained from a team perspective, Mitch. When you name a quarterback, you can rally around that guy, but that's not the case for this upcoming game on Saturday. BYU, their top two quarterbacks are Jake Retzlaff, or Gary Bohannon, that's what's on the depth chart this week. And Jake Retzlaff, of course, you know him, Cougar Nation, was starter uh, of four games last season, was 0-4 in those contests. Gary Bohannon, you kind of know him too. He's faced BYU twice from his time at Baylor and USF, but now he joins BYU in his final season as a college football quarterback. And, you know, there's been a theme throughout fall camp with both of these quarterbacks, that the coaches have main, maintained consistency that they are going to need both quarterbacks. And Kalani was asked today if he's going to play multiple quarterbacks against the Salukis. Yeah, I think we're, we're planning to do a lot of different things. We have a lot of options. Hmm. And the goal is to get the win. So I can't tell you how that's going to go yet right now on Monday. But we, we know we have an opportunity. We can win with with more than just one one person at quarterback. Uh, we have a number of them that can play and that we can get victories with. So Kalani believes that they've got multiple quarterbacks that could win games. So we want to ask you, Cougar Nation, who do you want to start at quarterback on Saturday against the Salukis? 801-575-8255. Hit us up and weigh in on who you want to see at quarterback because this has been a raging debate throughout the entire year. Keaton Slovis was the quarterback last year. He's gone, got cut this weekend with the Colts in the NFL. But now it's either Ratzlaff or Bohannon. What way do you go, Matt? 
I lean to Jake Retzlaff. I, I think you, there's pros and cons to both guys. Gary Bohan and Mitch has more experience. He's a bigger quarterback. We saw in fall camp, he's probably a little faster, maybe a little better in the run game. The thing that I really like about Jake, and it's it's hard to measure this in camp, Mitch, I love the show Hard Knocks on HBO. I've talked about that a lot of times, and I, I've really enjoyed this season of Hard Knocks with the Chicago Bears. And one thing that makes their new starting quarterback so interesting, Caleb Williams, is his ability to improvise. And I do believe that is a strength for Jake Retzlaff. Not everything can be on the script. Not everything is going to go according to plan. Who is a player who, when a play breaks down, can make something happen? I personally believe Jake Retzlaff is a little better in that department. And that's why I want to see him get the first crack at it. By no means, though, Mitch, do do I, I feel comfortably that he is better than Gary Bohan. And Gary might be better, but ultimately, I want to see one of these guys prove it in games before I feel like, definitively, that's the guy who should lead BOU football. I just don't understand the idea that, uh, you know, what was the point of adding Bohannon if he's not going to win the job? You know, because if Jake Retzlaff was the guy all along, why do we even bother? Why do Because things are trending towards Jake Retzlaff being the starting QB quarterback one this Saturday. And, you know, Chase Roberts earlier today, well, he he shared his thoughts on the quarterback situation. He knows who that quarterback's going to be coming up this weekend for BYU against the Salukis. Right now, it's kind of starting to, I mean, obviously we're just keeping it down low um, up until game time. Um, but we've been able to, I guess, kind of figure out over practices and stuff. Um, who the guy's going to be, you know, who we can meet with um, to prepare for the game when it comes game one, who to watch film with a little bit more. Um, so we're obviously in, we know, um, as receivers, but we're going to keep it down low and up until the game time. What do you make I, of that commentary? I respect it. Uh, it's it's fine if, if you want to pull the gamesmanship uh, card, Mitch. I just don't know if there's much to be gained from it. All right. We got our first call of Cougar Nation season number two. And this is something I love about Cougar Nation, man. It's a nationwide fan base. We got John from Preston, Idaho. You got questions about this quarterback battle, John? Yeah, I was wondering if uh, Bo Hannon was looking like his, his old self when he was at Baylor. I know that they had an outstanding year the last year he was there. And then uh, also wondering, I didn't see Preston Rex on the depth chart. Just wondering if he's going to see the field, if he's going to get out there and uh, make some plays. Thanks for the question, John. Uh, Gary Bohannon's health, he looks fully healthy. Nothing's holding him back, and that should be the expectation in regards to his shoulder. He suffered that injury in October 2022. He told me a couple weeks back that in May is when he finally felt 100% healthy. And in stretches during fall camp, there were moments where I felt like Bohannon was pulling away, Matt. I thought Bohannon was ready to be named the starting quarterback, and he looked really good, particularly on the ground. Uh, but as, as far as his health, that should not be a hindrance to him. He needs to be, he should be ready to go and be good for BYU. As far as Preston Rex, he's in that nickelback by the fourth-string guy, probably not in the mix right now heading into game week. we got to take our first break. We'll get to more of your calls on the other side. Glad to have Central Bank on board for Season 2. Central Bank's CB Vault, Help Center for Startups and Entrepreneurs. Visit CBUtah.com.